is what you do. Come on, guys. Oh my god. 5,100 damage. Welcome back to Elden Ring, to one of the best faith builds I have built in my entire Elden Ring career. And I call this one the Golden Knight faith build. And what this makes this build so unique? First of all, I mean, it, we, are, we are all in gold. That's already like a pretty nice thing. Perfectly suiting here to the, to the tree, if it wouldn't be burning. Yeah. And showcasing today the main part of this build is the Envoy Longhorn weapon. I know, and we all know, like, okay, how can this weapon be one of the best weapons for a faith build? First of all, we all think it's an A tier build. Ah, oh, God. Trust me, guys, it is for sure an S tier. And I done a complete video, which I will link down below, why this weapon is for sure an S tier. And in this build, I'm gonna showcase it again in some ways. Um, this weapon is completely overpowered um, and was completely underrated. Um, I mean, I know it makes holy damage, and holy damage is probably one of the l less good things in this game. But I don't know if they fixed this weapon in the previous update. Um, but this weapon is crazy strong. Like, we have a 925 damage, especially with uh, Scorpion Channel. Without the Scorpion Channel, we have 882, which is also in crazy, hi crazy high. Um, for for the seal, we use the Earth Tree seal, plus 9. For the armor, we use the Malfoy Dragon Helm, uh, Malfoy Dragon Armor. But we could also, for example, use the Tree Sentinel Armor. But I'm a bit too heavy, so for that, I would need to equip the earth tree's favor um, but yeah we wanted to focus here a bit on incantations as well so we we stick to this armor um, for the talismans we use the dragon crest great shield talisman the best one of the best and definitely a must have in every build because it just boosts physical damage negation um, second of all we use flex canvas talisman because it greatly boosts our incantations and we use the shadow of alexander one of also the best talisman in the game which we get with sure finishing the quest line of alexander and the sacred scorpion charm which raises holy damage for incantations are we going to showcase it a bit more and easier to showcase it so when we go to the spells um oh, come on uh we have first of all blessing of the urchin we all know it grants greater blessing to self and nearby and allies um then we use the gold wall we all know that these two are the S tier meta things in this game. So this increases attack and defense for self and allies. Allies. This one uh, raises physical and fire affinity attack power. Um, we don't test nothing too special. I, I just use it because of, I like it to, because of po poison and scarlet rod. So I don't need to use any objects. Um, then I use here for the incantations. Giant flame take the flame full upon them i have no idea what you call it like that but yeah never mind so then we have the ancient dragon's lightning strike which is super crazy as strong as well and the frozen lightning spear um to showcase in this build we're killing some dragons so we are here in front of the first dragon and for example we want to boost ourselves up so we use blessing of the earth tree <coughs> heal ourselves golden vow Flame grant me strength, and I think the fire doesn't really make a big difference. Um, so we just use the ancient dragons lightning strike. But seriously, as you can see, the damage is yeah, it is insane like 4,000. Um, I don't know if we can hit with this one that well because it's just. It's okay. Yeah, like it, it didn't really affect much. I think also when we use the fire, it doesn't really get a lot of damage. For this one, yeah, it doesn't really raise a lot of damage. So we take the ancient dragon's lightning strike. Take it again. Why? Do not. Well, maybe we need. To. So. Yeah, and we finish. So, um, as you can see here for the dragons, the ancient. The Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike is perfectly for that. But I wanted to showcase actually also our weapon, which is like just insanely of power, which you, you will see in a few seconds. So, coming here, first dragon, we're still buffed. Uh, so, we're going here, putting our Ash of, of War, and we're doing 3400 damage. That's insane. 
And we didn't even hit all bombs. We're going underneath him. And 3,600 damage. And it is finished. So, second end. So, we're here underneath. Firing our bubbles again. How much damage? 2,600. And again. Like, that is so insane. But I wonder if we, for example, change death for enhanced charge spells and skills. I would be curious how many kills it would make right now. So, coming here back again with our incantation, uh, with our talisman, and let's see if we do more damage. Three I think it was more damage, 3800. Do it again. I mean, come on guys, like, did you ever kill a dragon that easy and that fast? Because I, I seriously think that we don't really need the incantations. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the of the incantations anyways. I prefer weapons in general. And it is 3,500 damage. That is ridiculous. And he's damaged again. So, what we want to find out? How much can we boost this up? Golden wall. Okay, now we use golden wall. Wow, wow, how? Okay, so using flame grid and strength and let's kick it in right let's see our damage we will produce 999 don't fly oh come on i do it here for you too come on guys oh my god 5100 damage like it is it is just crazy how ridiculous this weapon is like let's let's do it again so i'm not sure if i still have my buff of golden wow i have no idea how long does it uh, stays so we're gonna find out <coughs> we do it again put it here and let's see our damage so we are here i hope i can fully get him with all the bubbles 4100 so probably was not a perfect fit And the bubbles still hit him in the end. It is crazy. And the bubbles... I think... How much does the bubbles take FP? Can you see it? On the, st on the stats here? Um, no, I don't think you can. Okay, but it, there's, it's really long. And showcasing it here in my other builds as a comparison. Even with like normal enemies. We have first of all a great possibility to like do single damage or like in general as normal attacks and also as we use the ash of war here again with uh, the bubbles we can also kill like a lot of enemies at once like i don't know i think in this one i killed like 10 enemies at once like that is insane and even like we do one hit with 1048 damage like guys this this weapon is just ridiculous so oops didn't want to do it. Well, it looks kind of cool. It's like the burning flames. So, so everyone, last showcasing here. I think it's also starting to get dark in Elden Ring. Also, to perfect time to stop this video. So, thanks very much for watching this video. If you like this Golden Knight Faith build, leave a like or comment down below. If you want to see more Elden Ring videos, and this will start right now as well because we want to prepare for the DLC so thanks so much for watching this video and see you guys in the next video bye